Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner, and we are back for another Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. And yes, we're back at the normal set. Um, <laughs> I know it's been a while. So for those who don't know, I have another series calling Seeing Things Differently. It's kind of like my travel vlog series. And I was in Puerto Rico for about, um, well, for eight days. So I was gone. Um, and it was one of the most relaxing trips I've ever taken and worth it. And because of the transition between jobs right now, and I start my new job on Monday, um, I didn't have the pressure of feeling like I had to be back to do something. Like it was like, I didn't feel rushed. I was very much just like this. And so um, I wanted to do a Get Fit With Me series presents, presents accountability, but I also wanted to call out a couple of obvious things. So with the Get Fit With Me series presents accountability, clearly I didn't do it during the time I was in Puerto Rico, so that's why we didn't see that. And then the other thing was, I have not been training for my half lately. Um, I've taken about three weeks, well, almost three weeks off, not quite. This week, if I don't get any running in, will be three weeks off, but it's probably not gonna be quite that. It's gonna be kind of closer to two weeks off, to be honest. And the reason behind it is, um, I've been really taking full advantage of just relaxing. And also too, for those who didn't check out that series, please do so. But if not, I'll give you a little bit of a hint of why. I actually was, my allergies were really bad the whole entire time I was in Puerto Rico. Um, to the point where I have this happening. So this is from the allergy breakout that I had while I was in Puerto Rico. And then I have a little bit of it still here. Um, I'm putting stuff on the face to get it cleared up, but it, <laughs> my allergies did a number. It was, it was not, it was not the best, um, was not the best. Fortunately, because I get allergy shots and my allergies have somehow been worse than that, um, it was manageable. I, I, I guess in a weird way, I'm kind of used to my allergies, like trying to take me out, <laughs> but just working around it. So, or just relaxing and just being like, hey, this is a hint that I just need to relax and chill. So that's, I just literally took it as that and kept it pushing. So, um, yeah. But I guess my whole thing with this Get Fit Movie, Fit Movie series presents accountability. Um, I always wanted to very much speak into existence. Just because you get off of a plan, don't get discouraged where you stop. My half marathon is still the half marathon. Like, all right, it's already half, it's going to happen. So either I hop back on the horse and get back to training or I'm gonna do the half and it's gonna be not good. <laughs> Either way, the half is happening. And I am gonna get back on the horse, but I just wanna make sure, um, similar to when I start this new job, I'm gonna be nice and refreshed. Same thing with this. So, um, also the other thing that happened was while I was on the trip, I actually twisted my ankle. So actually, I do have a legitimate reason why I wasn't running. I, I <laughs> I wanted to start, I wanted to get the running in while I was in San Juan because I actually had a gym where I could do that and go on a treadmill, but my ankle is not in the best of shape. So, and it still is not quite right. So I am going to do like three yoga sessions today to see if I can like work out some of the kinks. It is better. Um, the swelling has went down because it was swelled up for a while. Um, it still is definitely swollen. It's still definitely trying to heal but I can tell it's not hundred percent. So, um, I am gonna take it easy and then get back into the training where I left it at. And I did make some adjustments on my training plan to kind of account for it. So that way, either way I can get through the half marathon. And then after the half marathon, we're going to be all in on the triathlon training and training for my 50 K. So, <laughs> I kind of am running out of time when it comes to like being able to work around things, but this is the time to do it. And I guess I'm putting this out here because if you are someone that 
you know, for whatever reason, something happened, life happened, and you had to like get off the, like stop training for a little bit. Do not just say, okay, we're gonna throw this away and we're done. Um, I have done that before. I kind of did that last year, to be honest, full transparency, but I actually had a legitimate injury and it kind of didn't really recover the way it should. And because I was trying to get back in and then I realized, why am I doing this? Let's start over. <laughs> we will resume when we're all the mindset is correct. And the other thing I will say too is it's very important for your mental mindset to be together. Because last year, I really probably could push through and kept going, but I just mentally was checked out. So because I was mentally checked out, there was no point. And with a lot of sports and even like health and wellness related things, this has to be together. If this isn't together, what are we doing? You're kind of going through the motions literally. And I even explained on this channel, I was actually going through motions of running for probably from 2021 all the way to probably like 20, well last year, 2023. So for about two years, I was back to going through the motions um, towards the end of 2021 because I had a race that kind of didn't happen and just it, it, it mentally defeated me. I, I literally felt defeat. <laughs> so it's a matter of just acknowledging it. First, you acknowledge your shortcomings. You understand why you feel that way. And then if you need to take a step back and go back and, and come back to it at a later date, do so. But don't be discouraged. Um, so I am still going to continue starting next week of reporting what my half marathons are doing and whatnot and how I'm doing with the training because I'm very much ready to get back into the swing of things. Cause although that vacation was awesome, your girl needs to get back to business, including meal prepping. Cause I have been eating really good lately. I've been eating really good lately. Like I've been kind of cheating. Like I have not cooked, a f I haven't cooked in like three weeks, I feel like. So it's overdue, it's time. Um, so I'm gonna go grocery store sometime this weekend and get back that ready to go so that come work week I have fresh meals ready to go and then I'm back to that you know hustle and bustle but anyway I'm not gonna make this long this is literally all I wanted to talk to you about was um it's even though you might have stopped something for whatever reason there's nothing other than you that's stopping you from resuming it. And you just need to have that proper mindset to know, hey, I had a reason why I stopped this. Like in my 20s, especially, I always would say everything was an excuse. Well, excuses sometimes are legitimate. And you just have to understand or know, is this an excuse like where it's legitimate and okay, this is a shortcoming, or is this like a reason to like not do something? Because knowing the difference is a big deal. And I think at this point, um, I do know the difference. Like you have to be confident enough in yourself to realize you know the difference. You know what it is. Like after, if you sit it out and you realize, okay, I'm not really hurt. I don't have any other issues. Then what are we doing? Okay. Me, I actually did do something to my foot <laughs> again. Um, not the same foot, the, the bad foot, the foot that was already really always have issues with. So I'm, at least I'm glad I did the foot that always have issues with and not the one that I just recently messed up and it's back to normal. Um, Cause that foot is working. The, the way that healed and me taking that time off, I'm glad I did because it's back to normal. It's actually, it feels like it's actually stronger than ever, to be honest. Um, so anyway, oh, also too, for those who don't realize, I'm a year older now. <laughs> yes, y'all girl is a year older, but still looking good. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel though. If you get anything out of the content, it's your girl, Sharon. Yes, we're wrapping it up. Uh, it's your girl Sharon, aka Melanin Nostalgic Runner, 
and I will see you next time. Bye.